Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And uh, one of the questions I get frequently asked is about dizziness, right? Where does dizziness come from? What causes it? How come every time I stand up, I get lightheaded and it takes me a few seconds to get my get my bearings and get straightened out. Well, <clears throat> there's a few different reasons why people could have dizziness. Uh, a, a lot of medications, the side effects are dizziness. You might want to look at that. Rarely, very rarely, there could be some sort of a, a tumor or, so, or some sort of growth that could be affecting your balance. But what I have seen frequently, majority of cases in our office, is uh, something going on in the actually in the upper part of the neck. Now, how could something in the neck create dizziness? Well, most of the time what we have found is dizziness comes from the brain trying to figure out where it is in space. It's the same reflex that causes seasickness. So in the case of seasickness, uh, your eyes look out on a flat horizon. So they tell the brain, you should be still, you should be level. But then the fluid in your ears and the messages from your ear to the brain tell the brain you're moving. So the brain gets confused and can't quite figure it out. So it makes it a little bit dizzy. Sometimes the dizziness hits so hard that it goes straight into nausea, eventually possibly even vomiting. So what we have found is that there's something going on with the message from the ear to the brain that is getting distorted that's making the brain confused so it creates a sensation of dizziness. Now how could that possibly be? Because a lot of times if you've had dizziness you've probably been to an ENT or a medical doctor or even neurologist and they'll look at your ear and try to figure out okay are the crystals off? Is there something going on with the ear? And most of the time they'll find that the ear's perfectly fine. Well then how then if the ear's perfectly fine how then could the message somehow get distorted to the brain making the brain confused. <clears throat> well, what we have found is there's a couple bones at the very top of the neck. There's a nerve that goes from the ear that sends the message to the brain called vestibular cochlear nerve. Cochlear part is your hearing, vestibular part is the balance part. So if that message before it gets to the brain gets altered at the top of the neck, then it sends a, a different message to the brain. The brain has a hard time putting it together and trying to figure out where you actually are in space, creating the dizziness. Sometimes it gets to the point where you could actually even have the vomiting, same reflex as the uh, as seasickness. So if a bone is out of line in the top of the neck, because see, there, there are no nerves that come off the brain. All the nerves in the head, face, and neck, your vision, your taste, your smell, your hearing, your balance, they all come off of from the head, from the brain stem and go back up into the head, face, and neck. So if a bone's out of a line here, it could interfere with the message between the ear and the brain causing the dizziness. So that's why that writing reflex, that, that whole uh, seasickness type sensation, that's why a lot of times they treat uh, dizziness with medications like Dramamine the same medication they give for uh, seasickness uh, because it's the same situation. It's just a confusion. Something in the brain's like, hey, we're, nothing's making sense here, so it creates that dizzy sense, uh, sensation. So taking the medications obviously aren't going to fix the problem. It's just going to temporarily mask it because you don't have a drug deficiency that creates your dizziness. There's something going on within you. So what we've got to do is try to figure out exactly what's going on inside your body that could be creating it. And if it's a bone out of the top of out of the line at the top of your neck, that's what we do. So if you're having dizziness, if you're having vertigo sensations, uh, best thing you can do is rule out that there may be a problem at the top of your neck. If there is, let the, go to an upper cervical doctor. If there is, let them fix it. Then the problem goes away. If it's not, hey, at least you ruled that out and we'll continue to look to try to find someone else that possibly could help you. So Find an upper cervical doctor in your area. Uh, if you live in the Charlotte area, that'd be Pineville, Matthews, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Huntersville, Cornelius, Lake Norman, Lake Wiley, Gastonia, Belmont. We are the upper cervical doctor for you. Call our office. We never charge for the initial consultation to find out what your needs are. Uh, and if it's something that we can help you with, we're certainly going to help uh, explain to you what we need to do to try to fix the problem. If it's not something we think we can help, uh, then we'll try to find another specialist that we believe that can. So our office number is 704-588-5560. Cynthia and Susanna would be happy to set you up for that initial consultation. If you don't live in the Charlotte area, do yourself a favor. Find an upper cervical doctor near you. Let them go ahead and evaluate you and see if maybe one of the top bones in your neck is creating this dizziness, this vertigo sensation. If so, it could totally change your life. So. 
give our office a call if you live in this area. Hope you have a great afternoon. We look forward to seeing you soon.